I think it's just about on its last leg. I was kind of expecting that anyway. Alright, well, yeah, last night it flipped, the belt actually flipped over upside down. So, I've got a new tensioner that I'm going to put on it. And so far, I think the uh, belt's in pretty good shape otherwise. First thing, gotta get this tensioner to loosen the belt. Yeah. That thing is shot. Come on. There we go. And once that's all. Yeah, you know that's a bad one. I can move it with my hands. Alright, that ought to be an 18 or a 19 at least to get that part out. Had to adjust the camera there, kind of flip down, had it loose on its tripod. And it is a 19 millimeter. And, wow. It's a little stiff. Get a ratchet that's laying over here. I might not be able to get a wrench on to or ratchet on it too well. Yeah, because I am going to run out of room. Okay. No biggie. Keep turning and turning and turning and turning. I'll eventually get it off. And I'm also getting ready to order a new radiator. This one's got a little bit of a leak. And, of course, now it's off. And we'll look at it. And you can see, it's got a lot of black crud around it, so it's been bad. And let's listen to these bearings. Spins awful free. Let's try it again. Yeah, it was definitely wore out. It's time for a replacement. And here in this box, I have a Gates part number 38131, made in Canada. Tensioner. And let's see here. Instructions. Removal procedure. Removal installation procedure. Directives. All right, says so with... Uh, with bushing installed. Let's see what part number this is. It's a 38131 and a 38131 without bushing. Uh, that might be the bushing inside. I don't know. Alright, well. Let's take a look. 
Uh, both of the bushings seem to be the same size. Uh, seems to run up and align correctly. Alright, well. Let's go ahead and put it on. Danger! Do not disassemble tensioner. The coilless spring has been preloaded under high tensioner under under high tensioner during assembly. Huh. I pick up some errors in typing here. But disassembly of the tensioner could result in severe injury. Note, the enclosed tensioner is designed to match the original equipment installed on your vehicle. If the new tensioner doesn't appear to be of the same part design, double check the recommended part number for your vehicle. Special installation instructions to ensure your safety Shut the engine off and disconnect the negative battery cable. I really hate to think someone has tried to do this while the engine is running. Yeah. Let me know how that works out for you. Be sure to note the belt routing from removing the before removing the tensioner. Never force the tensioner beyond the stops. Yeah, you might break it. Use the proper tool, rotate tensioner, uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, determining if the bushing is needed visually, inspect tensioner mounting bracket to determine size of locating pinhole. Um, yeah. One bracket may have a half inch diameter locating pin, the other style has a 5 sixteenths. Installation and inspection. Oops. After properly mounting your new tensioner, reinstall the drive belt according to vehicle manufacturer's routing. Hmm. What if we want to go another suggested routing way? Not that it would work. Alright, well, as a final check, run vehicle. You make certain the belt is tracking properly on pulleys. Pay particular attention to backside or flat pulleys in the drive. If the belt tracks on the edge of any pulley, Inspect the drive for any signs of pulley or shaft misalignment. Ensure that no debris is present between the tensioner and its mounting surface that could cause misalignment of the tensioner or pulley. Well, simple instructions except for the typo. Hmm, how about that? Okay, let's put it on. And here is what it is discussing in the uh, instructions right there the locating pin they have a plastic or rubbery soft plastic bushing around that and that's how that goes and that's what locates it into the hole warning warning C 38131 instructions before installing hmm does that mean C 38,131 instructions huh I don't know all right, well, <laughs> maybe not. Okay, well, enough playing around for a while. Let's go put it on. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put a little anti-seize around the bolt. Just makes it a little bit easier to put in. You don't have an issue with rust in that one spot. Alright, I'll just set this down. And maybe just for ease of installation. Put a little bit of anti seize around that locating pin. Just dab just a little bit on the surface. Oop, that would not be any good. There we go. It just makes things just a little bit easier when things aren't going your way. Just 
started it. Now, there we go. So we just thread. Just keep turning this until we have it threaded in all the way. Walnuts are falling. I had a viewer the other day comment. I forgot what his user ID was. He said, "You are the worst. You're the worst mechanic I've ever seen." I really didn't know how to respond to this, being that uh, the sentence was started with a lowercase y. And your was spelled out Y-O-U-R. And then the sentence didn't even have any type of punctuation on it. And you know, I'm thinking, I could respond with, you're about the dumbest user I have ever seen, or you're a total idiot. But instead, I just removed his comment. You know, I'm sorry, but I just have very little tolerance for ignorance on that part. Yeah, and I, I had looked around and of course the user had no videos. Imagine that. And I had noticed that he'd already been trolling around on a couple of other people's videos. So I don't know if I blocked him or not. I usually do on situations like that. And now, oops. I think that is going to be like a 13 millimeter. 13 it is. All right. Well, I wanted it to fall on the ground anyway. I've been spending a few minutes trying to get the uh, camera situated in the spot where you can see me install this belt. But uh, there's a few videos of me here where I've been putting these belts on and installing them. You've probably seen a few of them where I've been cussing. Oh, damn it, get that. Oh, shit. And swearing where I've been putting on. Wow. Mm. We know this belt. We know this tensioner's good. Wow. Whew. Alright, well, now, uh, let's check the routing. Alright, well, these look, appear to look. Like they are installed straight on the pulleys. So let's give this thing a whirl and see what happens. like the instruction says. <laughs> well, I think that fixed its problem for now. Alright, well, 
Thanks for watching.